Hi, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've posted anything, but it's been really crazy over here um, with just life stuff. And um, you may hear Bruce, he just got off the couch and um, that's him walking around. But I wanted to do an after the pen of my cousin, what I've done the past four weeks in here. But before I get into this, I wanted to share with you my five year Hobonichi Techo. So I purchased this in the at the end of 20, was it 2017? Yes, I think it was 2017 and we started in 2018, 2019, yeah. So this is four years and about five, six months old. Unlike everybody else, I placed a photo on every page for the past four years and like five or six months. So this is what it looks like now. And so this is the binding. Um, as you can see, and I've said this in other videos, I don't blame Hobonichi obviously for the way this guy busted out. I don't know why I thought that I could hold a photo. You know, a photo could be kept in here every single day for five years and that it wouldn't be thick. So, uh, so you can do it. The cover will come off as it did with this one. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can see, but it's starting, this side is starting to even out like this side. So the 20, I think 18, is that where I'm, I think pretty sure that's when it started. Yes, uh, is on this side, started here. Because I'm not at the end of the year yet, it's still tight. As you put in the photos and as it, you know, keeps increasing as you go every week, the binding starts to loosen up. So that's why this side's so tight is because I don't have any photos in this corner yet. And that uh, these bindings are loose because there are photos right there. So if I were to do this again in 2023, I would put uh, 2023 here, 2024, 25, 26, 27. So this is my five year Hobonichi Techo, just a quick glance. And you can see how thick he is. I don't have a clue yet what I'm going to do when I'm done, how I'm going to bind it. Uh, for now, I'm probably just going to put it in a, in a box maybe and keep it safe while I decide what to do. Um, but it does have a lot of personal photos um, over the years. So, yep, this is what mine look like. And then I wanted to, again, do a flip through of my cousin. So this is my Hobonichi cousin. Let me do the week. Uh, so this is for this week. So yesterday was Memorial Day. I hope you guys had a nice day off. If you're here in the United States, this is the week before. The week before that. And this is the week we um, went up north to visit my father-in-law so I didn't do much of this because I was sort of cleaning and planning uh, the week out before we left so let's go into Bruce found his toy so I'm sorry so here's first of May my sister's cat and this is uh, if this is the first time watching my video um, I do have a daily calendar for the far side and so I cut it out and then I tape it in so that that way if I don't have anything to say or any photos to share at least I have this comic kind of taken up half the page. This is around zucchini we're growing and as you can see I haven't filled it out yet. Uh, I can always go back and write down whatever I want to say. Neighborhood cat, there's Bruce, Bruce, uh, a hollyhock. There's the cat. So this is the night before we left on our trip. So uh, in case you didn't know, my we discovered a few weeks ago that my father-in-law is sick. Um, he has cancer. And so he's currently going through chemo and radiation. Actually started radiation, finished that, and is now going to be starting chemo pretty soon. And so um, this was the week where my husband was going to go up fishing with his it's like a man trip. So he goes with his brother and his dad, but because his dad is sick, um, I decided to go up and spend the weekend up there, you know, and hang out with his dad and his family. And so, um, 
here was Bruce uh, watching me pack. And then uh, we left early Saturday morning. So I do have a traveler's notebook. I didn't take my Hobonichi cousin or my A6 with me. Instead, I took my traveler's notebook and I'm gonna do a flip through of this. Um, so I took this with me planning on, you know, uh, on my downtime sketching, writing down my thoughts and stuff. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do that. So I didn't need to take this, but I did. And I wanna do a flip through of this one uh, in a different video. So this is my brother with our dog, Bruce. Uh, my brother was nice enough to stay here uh, with Bruce. This is me and my husband. This is a, a suspension bridge, I think it's what it's called. Uh, it's a real famous bridge up in Northern California. And so my um, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they took us there. We went, we did a quick hike. This is Sunday. And again, didn't fill it out because it's kind of personal. So I will do that later. I left Monday uh, night. And so this is the airplane I got on. This was the third flight I've ever been in on in my life and so uh, when I got home and went to bed this is uh, yeah this is I was here that was Bruce and we had the whole bed Bruce Bruce what are you doing hang on so here so we always I would start off in the middle of the bed and so when I woke up this is how I would wake up this is Bruce with his drool this is the night we let the cat sleep in the house. And so he was above my head. Bruce, Bruce. Hang on, Bruce, Bruce. I'm almost finished. This is an avocado. Uh, so I've been keeping track. This will be the first year we'll have an avocado. Uh, it's larger than a mar marble. There's Bruce. And as you can see, there's not too much to see here. Okay, so this day... Um, I decided to cut up a Albo, a Monstera Albo Borgiana, which is basically the small form. I have one that grew um, like a half moon. So half of the leaf is green, half of the leaf is white. And my older sister was interested in a cutting if I ever decided to cut it. And so it had grown too tall for the room that I keep it in. So it's about four to five feet. No, it's about five feet. And so I ended up cutting it because I was I was just tired of it growing so tall. So I cut it, cut it up and I ended up with about eight or nine pieces. So that's what you see here after I cut it up and I repotted it. This is my Cebu Blue. I broke him up to some spider plants. Um, I repotted them for my mom. So I'm, I have a really nice vigorous plant that I won on YouTube, uh, I think last year. And so um, it had babies and um, I wanted to put it in a pot and give it to my mom. And then this is the um, window in my kitchen nook where I am growing some of my plants. Here is the same avocado a couple of days later. And then um, we went grocery shopping and stopped at a nursery, which is a really nice nursery. And I found, uh, it's called a Hindu rope. I think it's a Hoya Compacta, um, but I found a really small one, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then I found two variegated Hoya Carii leaves. So it looks like this. And then I washed it. Um, so apparently if you buy a leaf, 99% of the time, the leaf will not grow into a plant. It will stay as a leaf because it needs a stem or a node for it to keep growing as a plant. I don't know if I have a stem, enough of a stem or a node for it. So this is the stem node or whatever this thing is called for this leaf. And this is the one for this leaf. And so um, I went ahead and repotted it and am currently growing it. And so we'll see, we'll see what happens. I do hope it grows into a plant and this way, I will know for sure if it does. So if this one does, I can go, yep, there it is. That's what it looks like. And if this one does, then I know. But I thought it was a good deal and it's pretty. Here's my mom with my sister's second cat. That's the cat. Here's a Cebu Blue after I mounted it on a wood pole suggested by someone on Facebook telling me that it will grow better 
larger leaves on a piece of wood than on a moss pole or like bamboo poles. There's the cat. I don't know what happened to him, but he had a lot of dirt on his face and I thought it was kind of funny. There's Bruce hanging out behind me when I was working. Bruce and the cat. Uh, this day I had to take Bruce by myself. I had to take Bruce by myself, yes. To the vet, uh, my husband had to work and so uh, Bruce needed his rabies shots. And so here we are by ourselves in the car. That's me. <laughs> Again, another avocado shot. Now it's bigger. It's like a big fat marble, big fat Bertha marble, you know, one of those big ones. Uh, so it's growing nicely. Hopefully it'll stay. Here's my tree now, my avocado tree. Really proud of it. It's my only one. Here is a big Buddha statue. Um, me with the Buddha statue, which I covered with a Mickey uh, sticky note. And then here's Buddha and I. I'm eating, I think that's nectarines. Oops, sorry. That's nectarines. And we're watching TV. But he's no longer there. I put him up um, on a chest with some plants and he's looking at my front door. So, but he just spent a couple of minutes with me watching TV. Oh, there he is, right there. So I have, um, I don't know what this name is, uh, a Dracenia maybe, on both sides. And then he's right there with some incense. This is um, some plums. So I, am a, I have a four-in-one plum tree in the backyard. And when they're soft, they are ready. So this guy was really, really juicy. This is a flower spike from a dendrobium. I also have apples, a four-in-one apple tree. So I cut it up, this is what it looks like, and then some grapes. And then some more. Again, the avocado. Here's a rosemary bush that my sister gave me four years ago. And uh, it grew really wide. And this is a prime gardening spot. And so I went ahead and gave it a big haircut. Here are some sunflowers that I started. Uh, so this guy is probably about six or seven feet tall. This one's got to be eight or nine, so he's way up there. And then right here, which you can't really see that well, is my four-in-one plum tree. And over here is our peach tree. Sunday, we decided, um, my husband let me know that we are installing central air and heat. So this is another reason why we've been really busy. Um, so this is the before. And then he had to break into there, break into the hallway. And then yesterday, Memorial Day, we started, they started to do the rest of it, um, setting things up. So that's what this is. And the cat and Bruce on the bed. And that is all that I have for the After the Pin May in my Hobonichi cousin. And again, a peek at my five-year Hobonichi at four years and five to six months old. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I hope to be more consistent this year. Um, it's just been really rough with what's been going on right now. Uh, for me, for us, my family, it's just still been a dumpster fire for 2022. Um, but I hope to do a flip through of this guy pretty soon and get this posted also, hopefully this week. Um, I do have my Hobonichi Weeks. I misplaced it, and I can't share that with you right now, but as soon as I find it, I will do a flip through of that one, though, quite frankly, there's not much to see. It looks the same, but uh, yep, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and having fun and enjoying summer. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.